Hello, guys. Barry here. The traditional Chinese New Year is coming soon, and I have brought a new update for everyone. This update mainly contains three parts. Added dynamic views. The dynamic views can collide with the environment, and has the similar function with the static views. You can adjust the settings of the views through the following parameters, such as fuse length, fuse material. As for the use of the fuse. You no longer need to add spline points like a static fuse to adjust the position of the fuse. You just need to drag the fuse into the scene, and it can automatically adjust the position according to the environmental collision. Similarly, it also burns from the end without the arrow component, and it can ignite other fuses, firecrackers, or fireworks during the burning process. A dynamic string of firecracker has been added, which can interact with the environment and has similar functions to a static string of firecrackers. You can adjust the settings of the firecrackers through the following parameters, and the usage method is similar to a static string of firecracker. Similarly, you no longer need to add spline points like a static string of firecrackers to adjust the position of the firecrackers. You just need to drag the firecrackers into the scene and it can automatically adjust its position according to environmental collisions. Moreover, all firecrackers have independent models, not just simulated with materials, which is more advanced than the method I provided in the firecracker remake tutorial for Chinese New Year. It also starts burning from the end, without the arrow component, and it can ignite other fuses or fireworks during the burning process. However, it should be noted that dynamic firecrackers have certain performance requirements. Please set them appropriate length according to your hardware configuration to avoid insufficient performance due to excessive length. The rotation issue of the firecracker has been fixed and now the rotation of individual firecrackers works correctly. Fix the issue the fountain fireworks could not end correctly. Adjusted the collision of the trigger. Now it can more easily ignite the surrounding fuses and firecrackers. Fix the issue that there would be residual firecrackers or special effects after the fireworks ended in certain cases. That's all for this update, and thanks for watching. See you next time.